Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Do Cats See Things That Aren't There? Every so often I stumble upon what I would consider to be a loaded topic. And today's topic question is just that, as there are two very distinct ways this presentation can go. Let's first begin with vision, as in eyesight. Approaching the question from a cats can see things that we just can't standpoint. And in all honesty, that's most likely the proper angle. From this side of the equation, it's not really about felines seeing things that just aren't there in the most literal sense. It's about incredible motion detection and the ability to spot things that we're just not equipped to notice. Have you ever glanced over and found your cat just fixated on the wall or perhaps looking quite curiously, I don't know, at a lamp? I use the lamp example as I have a lamp story that I'll share here momentarily. At any rate, have you ever seen your cat just looking off into space, looking at what appears to be absolutely nothing at all? There's a good chance that your cat has picked up on a spectrum or flickers of light, and because cats are naturally curious creatures, it just doesn't take too much to get them locked in. I've seen cats spot a fly and seemingly track its every move for several minutes before moving on to something bigger, something better. Cats, at least most of the time, are easily coaxed and easily baited. Felines have roughly six to eight times as many vision rod cells compared to humans. This means they're able to see things that we simply can't pick up. This is especially true during dark nighttime conditions. It should also be noted that these spectrums and flickers and flashes of light can really grind on a cat's nerves from time to time, causing them to feel anxious and unsafe. Something new and unfamiliar has disrupted the security of the home. This is why, in some cases, cats will display rather startled and almost haunting postures as they appear to be deeply focused on what appears, at least to us, to be nothing at all. In order to make your cat feel safe, it's important to check things out. Do it for your cat, if for no other reason. If your pet knows that you're on the case, looking and searching along with them, those tensions will ease up just a bit. And hey, let's be honest, on the chance that there is something really there, perhaps a bug or something, that you initially can't see, it's wise to investigate because quite obviously, if you do find something, you'll need to take care of it accordingly. So the more popular answer to this question is vision. And just to summarize, cats have the ability to see things that we can't because they have six to eight times as many rod cells compared to us which allows them to see so much better than we can in certain circumstances, especially in dim and dark conditions. So, that explains one answer to this question, this science and the sort of the medical side of the equation, if you will. But what about the other side? Do cats see things that aren't there, as in not there at all? Are they hallucinating? Seeing ghost? Let's place a toe in that pool and see what we find. Can cats see ghosts? Yes? No? They're not telling? I'll simply say that just because we can't see it doesn't mean it is not there. How about that? And while the aforementioned section concerning vision is certainly the most plausible explanation for cats wandering off into space and looking at what appears to us like nothing, the idea that cats truly See things that aren't there, well, I guess it just can't be completely ruled out. Why? Well, there are plenty of people who claim to see ghosts. 
Are they wrong? Are they right? I mean, you see what you see. And I'll just leave it at that. In terms of the weight this part of the topic carries, it likely goes back to history and pop culture. Cats in some circles have often been associated with the underworld in some capacity. I think most of us, regardless of age, learned early on that one of the calling cards of the Halloween season is indeed a black cat. I can remember in grade school seeing construction paper cutouts of black cats, along with spiders, haunted houses, and pumpkins, of course. The general concept that cats are evil or can dabble in the spirit world has been discussed forever. On the back of that conversation is where this topic probably originated. I mean, if a cow looked at a wall for 20 minutes, would you think they were seeing ghosts? Probably not. It's easy to apply this paranormal label to cats. For right or wrong, it just is what it is. And before we close, my little lamp story that I promised. Several years ago, one of my cats had a habit of relaxing on the sofa and just staring over at the lamp on the end table. The lamp, the light, the lampshade. He would just take it all in for minutes at a time. This happened almost daily for a long while, a very long time. I never knew what he was looking at. Here again, he wouldn't tell me. Over time, I just joked that he was probably talking to some cat. Casper the Friendly Maine Coon or something. What struck me was the intent. He wasn't just glancing over or glaring over. He was looking at the lamp like something was there, like something was looking at him. And he was looking at something. <laughs> something more than just, well, just the lamp itself. Was he looking at a ghost? Or was he looking at various spectrums of light that I was simply unable to see, or perhaps both? Who knows? I suppose anything is possible. There is nothing at all to prove that cats can see ghosts. Nothing to find. However, just because we know how cats see doesn't mean that we always know what they see at any given moment. And it's in that gray area where the unknown resides. So, have you ever sat back and watched your cat lock in on something and look at something that you simply just could not see? What was your final conclusion? Please let me know in the comment section below. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.